Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the random variable x or the x value for a normal distribution when you're given either the probability or the percentage or something of that effect. Um, and we are going to be using Excel to do that. So what we have here is in a specific population, the heights of women are normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. So remember that you need to know the mean and the standard deviation in order to use the normal distribution and to be able to find the x values. Okay, so the first one that we have is it tells us to find the value of the height for a woman in the top 10th percentile. Okay, so for this one, what's going to happen is it's going to be centered at 63.6, which is our mean. And the top 10% would mean that our area up here would be 10%. Okay, and what you have to remember is that in Excel, it always gives you the area to the left. So you do have to find one minus your area to the right in order to plug that value in. So in this case, it's really easy. And so we could just easily say that that's 0.9. If it's not as easy, you can plug this formula into Excel. Okay, so the things that we need to know is we need to know the 0.9, the 63.6, and the 2.5. So let me grab Excel, and the probability is going to be our 0.9. And like I said, is at this point right here, if it was difficult to do, I could have typed in equals 1 minus the area, the 0 0.10, and of course it changes it to 0.9 anyway. Um, the mean is going to be our 63.6 and our standard deviation is 2.5. The reason I'm putting it up here is because in my formula I'm going to use these cells. That way I can just change this instead of having to change the formula. So what I'm going to type is equals and I'm going to start typing norm. And for this one, I want the dot inverse. I do not want the dot s dot inverse because I'm not looking for a z score. So I'm actually looking for an x value. So I'm going to select the norm dot inverse. And what you need to know is the probability, the mean and the standard deviation. So for probability, I'm going to select a2 and then I'm going to insert a comma and the mean is b2. And the standard deviation is C2. That way, if I have to do several problems, all I have to do is change the values up here rather than trying to change the values in between the commas. And so I find it's just a little bit easier. Okay, and since I'm going to do three examples, I figured that was the easiest way to show you. Okay, and then when I hit equals, it gives me my answer. Um, so you would just round to however many decimal places that it tells you to. I'm just going to round to one decimal place. And so I can see that X is approximately 66.8. And so this would be the height. So a woman who is 66.8 inches um, would be in the top 10th percentile for this population. Okay. Um, moving on to the next one, we want to find the height for a woman taller than 35% of other women. So we're still using the same mean, so our mean is still 63.6, and our standard deviation is still 2.5, so that's not going to change. What's going to change this time is where we have our shading. Okay, so taller than 35% means that this woman is taller so her height is going to be here and then she's taller than 35 percent of the other people so this would be 0.35 and we're looking for what is this x value here okay remember that we are centered at 63.6 so this time because our value is 35 percent is less than um, 50 percent we know that our z score would be negative but again we're looking for the x value so our x value isn't going to be negative it just means that it's going to be below the 63.6 okay so if we grab excel the only thing that we have to change is our probability and so remember with this one because it is area to the left all i have to do is change that to the 0.35 and it automatically recalculates for me and so that way I didn't have to type in anything else and I didn't have to change where it was in the parentheses. So that's the advantage of doing it this way. 
Okay, so we could say that 62.6 inches is our x value. So someone who is 62.6 inches is taller than 35% of the other women in this population. All right. So looking at the last one that we have here, it says if the heights are equidistant from the mean, okay, so what that means is that I am going to center this at the mean, 63.6, and this time I'm going to be looking for two values. So I'm going to be looking for an x1 value and an x2 value where 88% or 0.88 of the women fall between, okay? Um, so you do have to do a little bit of thinking with this because you can't just plug in the 0.88, it won't give you the answer, okay? So for the x1, it's the value down here. What I'm going to do is I wanna find this area that falls below that. And so to do that, I'm gonna do 1 half of 1 minus 0.88. Okay, and so you can do this yourself or you can just plug it into Excel. Instead of using one half in Excel, I'm gonna use 0.5 because that's the same thing. And so I'm going to change this to equals 0.5 times one minus 0.88. And if you wanted to, you could have done this math yourself and you could have just typed in 0 0.06, um, but you don't have to, you can always plug in the formula. Okay, so 59.7 inches would be our x1 value. So our value to the lower side would be um, 59.7 inches. And then what we need to do is we need to find our x2 value. Okay, um, so in order to find that one, what we are going to do, trying to select a different color, that I haven't used in this problem, we'll do green. Okay, so we're trying to find the x2 value. So there's a couple different things that you can do. We know that this area is also 1 half, 1 minus 0.88. So we could do 1 minus that value, and we did just find that that was 0 0.06. Um, so I could do 1 minus 0 0.06, which is 0.94. I could have also used the fact that I know that 50% of the area falls below this. And half of the area, half of this 0.88 falls above, so that would give me 0.44 to this point here. And so if I add those together, it also gives me 0.94. Either way, you're going to be finding the area with 94% um, to the left of it. And so that's what we would plug in. The only thing that we would wanna change here is we're gonna change this to 0.94. I could have also done one minus that value um, and done it that way too. So there's a lot of different options. Uh, just keep in mind that you can't just plug in the 0.88. Okay, so we ended up with 67.5 inches. So women between the heights of 59.7 and 67.5, 88% um, of our women fall between these two heights. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.